I got some elite work for y'all. I need y'all to watch this whole video right here all the way to the end. It gets better. Two ball dribbling today. If you need to work on your handles, this is the workout. You should do this every day. Two ball dribbling. First workout, we're hip level. Alternating the ball, 30 seconds. Each workout is 30 seconds. Knees bent, chest up. Trying to work both hands as fast as you can and control the ball. In between each set, you can take whatever break you need. I usually try to knock it out fast to get that cardio in. Next one to be alternating it, but now we're going to take it a little lower using those fingertips, knees bent, chest still up. This is really going to help you with your handles. You get to work both hands at the same time, so you're getting double work. That's really why I like two ball dribbling. If you can't dribble a ball, I mean, this is something you could do and you should do every day, even if you do dribble good. This will tighten it up and get your handles like really nice, really quick if you do this every day. Then we'll take it same time. So now the balls are hitting the ground at the same time. We're keeping it hip level. Like I said, you want a solid foundation. Keep those knees bent. When you're dribbling, when you're dribbling the ball, you want to stay low because defenders don't want to get low. So if you're dribbling the ball low, you're more explosive, you're faster, and defenders aren't going to want to get down there with you to steal the ball. After you finish hip level, you take it down low, fingertips, same time. Trying to get as many as you can in 30 seconds. You don't have to count it. If you want to, you can count it and write it down, but just trying to get as many as you can, burn it out for 30 seconds. It's a workout at the same time. You're getting some muscle endurance work, your arms, your legs, everything. And you're getting your handles, your coordination. All right, so now we're about to get to that elite work. So we're going pound through the legs. So one pound through the legs, alternating each side, 30 seconds. This is a pretty tough one. You see, I'm messing up. I'm a little rusty. I honestly, haven't done two ball dribbling in a little while, especially going 30 seconds continuous. You get pretty tired. After between the legs, you'll take it behind the back. If you mess up, get right back into it. You're just going 30 seconds. If you mess up, get the ball, hop back into it. If you need to move your feet, you can move your feet, whatever you need to get that ball behind the back, but it's a pound behind the back. I'm trying to stay squared up, chest up, knees have a nice little bend. Like I said, if you need to move your feet, that's fine too. Then we'll take it to the crossover. Pound cross. Try to put that head up every once in a while. If you need to look down, that's fine. Working on handling that ball. This is some elite work right here. If you could dribble two basketballs and do different type of moves with two basketballs, then obviously you could dribble and do moves with one basketball. So of course, in a game, you won't be dribbling two basketballs, but this is going to get your right side and your left side of the brain coordinated together to where when you're in the game and you're doing different moves, you're able to put that ball in the right hand, the left hand, and it's going to feel the same. That's how you want it to be. You want the left and the right to be the same. All right, we'll run through those all one more time. So we're going to alternate. You should be warmed up. should be going a little bit faster now. Alternating it, keeping it hip level, trying to control that ball. And like I said, take y'all's breaks because, man, 30 seconds dribbling that ball, it's an arm workout, it's a leg workout. You're getting that core. You got to work on your breathing, take deep breaths while you're going. And then hop into it, we'll take it down low. Alternating it down low, 30 seconds. This is round two. I 
feel like with today's game, I mean, the centers are dribbling the ball. It's a five-out style type game, ISO basketball, especially once you get to that college and, you know, the NBA. If you want to play in the NBA, if you were able to make the NBA, you definitely have to have a handle. Most people can dribble. All the shooters can dribble nowadays. All the big men can dribble. So having a nice handle, you know, I'm not saying you have to have a Kyrie handle and have the deepest bag and all of that, but you need to be able to dribble with that left hand and make a couple of moves in the right hand, be able to make a couple of moves and get to the rack, get to your mid range your spot, shoot your three. You need to be able to handle the ball in order to get on the court nowadays. And if you are trying this workout and you can't do some of these drills, then that means this is the perfect workout for you. It means do it every single day. It won't take you more than 20 minutes. 20 minutes out of your day till you can go outside, in your garage, at the park, parking lot. If you're at the gym, perfect but you can do this anywhere all you need is two basketballs like i said this is round two we're going through all of these twice so we're back to the between the legs pound twin But 20 minutes out of your day, work on your handle every day, two ball dribbling. And I guarantee you, if you start doing this every day in a month, you'll see your handles are better. I guarantee you that if you work on something like dribbling 20 minutes a day with two basketballs, and do this exact workout within a month your handles should get a little better and then after two months three months four after a year if you're really working on your game and you really want to get a handle dribbling two basketballs is one of the best drills you can do and then of course you go out there and work with one ball and work on game like things but this is a great way to get that coordination in your handle elite in a very quick amount of time. All right, so this one's pretty tough. So now we're moving on. This is basically a combo move. It's a through the legs crossover. So you got a pound through the legs crossover I'm working with my right hand so it's like I'm doing a between the legs cross with my starting in my right hand and then you have the ball staying in the front you're just tapping it switching hands but between the legs cross you'll do 30 seconds one way and then 30 seconds the other so now I'm working out the left hand my left hand is initiating the between the legs and then the crossover. So it's a combo move. Two ball combo move. This is where it gets really elite right here. This is the real elite work. Combo two ball drill. If you can get this down and be able to do this clean for 30 seconds, you see I'm messing up. I don't even have it down. But if you can get this down, be able to handle the two balls between the legs cross doing combos for 30 seconds straight not messing up there's no way somebody should be able to steal the ball from you there's no reason you shouldn't be able to dribble both ways like this is just a great way to get your handles better dribbling two basketballs every day after that we'll take it between the legs behind the back like I said, if you need to move your feet, move your feet, whatever you need. Lose the ball, 
All good. That means we need to get a little better. And that just means we're working. We're actually doing something that's challenging. So that's good. And once you get that 30 seconds, you'll take it the opposite way. Messing up is good. Especially when you're working out. You want to mess up in practice and workouts. So then it, it minimizes the mess ups in games. It's all a rhythm too. When you're dribbling that ball, you kind of get a rhythm. See how I got a rhythm? I'm trying to find it. And then we'll take it to a double crossover. This one's pretty easy. I'll keep repeating myself, guys. And ladies, if you're watching this, Hoopers, period. Two ball dribbling. Work on it. 20 minutes a day. And then you can hop into your single ball, handle into layups, midi, three, triple threat, whatever you're going to work on after that. But two ball dribbling, this right here could just be a great warm up. A great warm up. Warm up your handles, warm up your body. So then you're ready to get into those shots or whatever you need to do after that. But do this daily or every other day if you really want to get your handle better. But I hope I was able to show y'all something and give y'all a little bit of information and maybe some motivation to work on your handle a little bit more. Like, subscribe, comment. Peace.